one. Welcome everybody to another CBC podcast. Even though this has been like what a year since we've had one, it's felt <laughs> like a year. Yeah, it, it, two two or three weeks at it, most. So yeah, yeah, like a year. It's so <laughs> exactly. Um, Armin's not here today. He's really busy. He's also going to be heading out of the country soon, so he's not going to be here for a while. And also, his well, internet was shit, so apparently... Or not well, his, I don't know, all of ours. He's just been cursing out Comcast like crazy. That too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, and he has to fend off the people of Florida. That too. And he also well, that's going, old anyway, so yeah. it's he, not he, really... <laughs> he's also going to go find dinosaurs in the Bermuda Triangle, which I've always thought they were there, but now Armin's going to like take video and... It's gonna be like the whole Jack Black. He's gonna be Jack Black basically in King Kong. Let's let's just hope he doesn't like, you know, do a bad. He's just hoping like Jack Black. global warming to kick in really quickly so Florida sinks and he can be Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true that, true that. So with that though, I am your host Joe. We also got on this cast. You might have heard their voices already. We got Tristan. What's up? We got Tom. These violent delights have violent ends. <laughs> and we got Mitch. Spoilers. I know where that's from. I, I don't, but that's, that's not that's spoiler. Spoiler. That's that's just a line that's been said like 500 times <laughs> on the show now. That's probably Westworld, and Tong will have yeah. like any excuse to like just say a Westworld quote or something. Fuck, I love I, Westworld. Spoiler. I, 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 spoiler. <laughs> that's not a spoiler. That's from like four or five episodes ago. I've I, seen I, I'm hey, actually going to start it to today. Me. I haven't caught up yet. Yeah, me either. So I'm going to start it today or later on today So because I think it ended right I think they no. say that line in the first five minutes of the show, actually. Oh, so I think yeah, is. you'll be fine. So, so it hasn't ended yet. I thought it ended already. No. One, no, one episode left. Yeah. Oh, it is HBO, right? So it's like, it's like nine episodes or ten episodes or something. Yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, they always have it that low. I mean, is it on the level of Game of Thrones or what? It, I, I prefer it's Game of Thrones. Well, uh, it's, moment. No, no, it's, it's season one of this is better than season one of Game of Thrones, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. See, I think they're just both just as slow. Like they're nah, doing the know. same things. Like Westworld's <laughs> keeping more to the chest than Game of Thrones ever did. It's the kind of like oh, yeah, but uh, things yeah. But you haven't seen the last two episodes. They are paying off so much shit. Yeah, I know it's starting to pay off now. But like Game of Thrones <laughs> like, started how, paying off like four episodes yeah. in. No. How, how much of a slow burn is it? Is it like four or five episodes? Uh, mm. six. I'd say. Oh, I can deal with that. It's stuff. only a ten episode season. You can get through it. Hopefully it doesn't happen. What happened with Game of Thrones for me, where I watched the first episode and then I forgot to watch the rest in three you seasons won't past. Even stop it. I, I'll <laughs> start it because I I told like I told y'all how I watched one episode of Game of Thrones. I was like, oh man, I'm excited, and then I forgot to watch the rest, and then like three seasons passed, and I was like, oh yeah, three seasons passed. I should catch up definitely. And uh, but I do love Game of Thrones, so I'll probably love Westworld <laughs> because I mean everybody I know is talking. Give it about a try. Westworld. I think you. I think you'll. I think I, you'll enjoy it. It's definitely. not that I won't give it a try. It's just. It's just weird. I, I think you'll be hooked after like one or two episodes. Like, no, after the Joe, first episode, no, 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 it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna take Joe a while. To yeah, get Mitch knows it's gonna. It takes me a while. To, uh, to get no, maybe it's just because I'm, I'm more into sci-fi than fantasy, and I no, like the whole that's aspect of that. That's not even it. It just. Sometimes I forget to continue watching because I have other <laughs> stuff to do. So it's like, oh, yeah, I got to keep watching. Uh, that's just how it happens. Um, Maybe yeah, look out for the Blu-ray like when it comes out or something. That will remind I, you. I don't buy blu Stick it on so your show. Oh, you I, don't? Oh, no, great. so I'm going to watch it on HBO, guys, because <laughs> I pay for my stuff, right? Right? We all do. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. We all pay for us. We're all good citizens, except yeah, I'm the only one. Or if, me if by in pay, it. you mean you you siphon off your uh, siblings or parents? <laughs> <laughs> or I also just like steal internet from my neighbors. <laughs> but really? <laughs> no, I know. But uh, I, this is why you, you're getting deported. See, I remember you, doing you, that in 2009. You know what though? They tried to steal it from me a couple of times ago, but I put a password on that hole, and they, then they couldn't figure it out anymore. I was like. See y'all thought we were cool. Y'all trying to steal internet from me? Like what? <laughs> like without me knowing? Well, that was back then when I didn't know. Like you could do all that. I just thought internet was internet, which was like when I was two. I just remember how great it was when Wi-Fi was like first around. Like because none of my neighbors had passwords and we didn't even oh, have yeah. connections. So like Near with my laptop, it. I just had the choice of like four different connections. So if any one of them went down, I just chose another one. Yeah. All my all the Wi-Fi around here had passwords, so I've never been able to do that. So, it's like that now, but like 
Like, yeah, you know, like like the like early two thousand, like two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Barely anybody had any passwords on, because I still remember some of my neighbors would talk to my parents and say, for some reason, um, my internet slows down from time to time. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> oh, like you streaming had, videos and stuff. And had your like album list like named after you or whatever, like your playlist. They, apparently that did show up on other people's computers on the Wi-Fi things. So they may have just seen like Tristan's funky mix, and they, that, that might be why the neighbors coming and talking to you. Uh, uh, before we get started, though, I should mention that the other day, I, I I parked in my driveway, and as I was doing that, I saw this lady, who uh, and then you you can hear the damn that's loud. Let's keep talking. The fuck was that? It it's uh it's you an airplane that's going lot. over me. I I wish it'd be like it, I wish it would take me, but it wouldn't. See, no, people, that was Joe it's not his UFO, Joe. Like bonnet of his car, like Wayne's oh. World. <laughs> to, to be fair, I live next to a military base, so like that makes uh, that's yeah. that's what the noise is. There, there's always the there's always something like that. Oh, yeah, we're about to go to war. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, so I was I parked in my driveway. Right there's this lady who I've seen always. Like she always walks around the block, like where I live, my neighborhood, and she's talking on the phone with someone. I think she's also a lesbian. I don't know if that matters to the story, but I I don't know. Just I think she is. Okay. Uh, but she used to be kind of bulgy and big, and then like a year passed, and now she's skinnier. I was like, did all that walking around the neighborhood, talking on her phone, like make her that skinny? Like no. Maybe it's the rug munching as well. You don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it just it was so random. I was just like, "Wait, who's that? I've never seen her." Oh, it's that same lady because she looked different. I was just like, "Oh, I don't know." That's well, my weird story. She's been today. walking like eight miles every day. What does she has? I just don't know. I just think she walks like the back and forth on my street. But maybe she walks like all over town and talking on her phone. I don't know. Do y'all know people? Have y'all seen people who do that? Who just like walk around and talk on the phone instead of being in one place? Uh, well, I've, I tend if I'm on a long phone call, I tend yeah. to like pace around the room or something. Yeah, I, no, I, but yeah. do you walk around like your neighborhood? Oh no, no. there's a difference between oh, that's, that's, that's a flick used to have, out, There used to be a little Asian woman that used to roller skate around our neighborhood. Like she used to literally just roller skate up and down the street outside our flat, like <laughs> for hours on end. She wasn't like a young woman as well. She looked about like forty something. Yeah, she just loved roller movie. skates, I guess. So, I don't know. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of weird like that. But I always thought that was awesome. We used to watch her. <laughs> we might as well get started with the first pe- person. Blah, blah, blah. I did that again, right, Mitch? I did that the, 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 on all yeah. the page. I can't say peace anymore because of this sickness. So, with this first piece of news, we have Power Rangers Rita Raposa promo image. And I don't know if how many of y'all have seen it, but it's essentially just showing off more Rita Raposa. Wait, is it those, those ones with a uh, white background? No, it's green. Yeah. I think. yeah, it's like well, it's like a it's lighter background. It just shows her like modeling uh, or something. Cause I've seen a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I saw it. I thought it was okay. It's, it's more of the same, really. Yeah. I, I, it's yeah. nothing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's what I expected. Thing is the um, is the stuff. Yeah, we haven't seen that before. I don't think. Yeah, because oh. like to me, like she seems more like was it was that one Scorpina? Yeah, 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 yeah I know what you mean. Scorpina. I mean, I've seen a lot of people say that Mera in uh, Justice League, or Mera, however you pronounce it, looks yeah. sort of a similar outfit. And now, she, and now she's now she's kind of got a like a trident thing as well. Like, <laughs> ah, I see where you're going with that. Uh, but the one thing that I kind of noticed, and I saw some other people notice, is the the knee pads are around her legs. Look, kind of looks similar to how the Power Rangers look. So is it? She was one of the first Power Rangers with Zordon, and then she got turned to the dark side, as they say. That'd be, I, we never really know too much backstory about Power Rangers, so I'm always up for giving a backstory to it. Like, there was Rangers before, Zordon was one, maybe Rita was one, and then she got locked away for going to well, the dark side. That's it. There's a well, rumor that she's the original yeah. Green Ranger. Yeah, well, I think that's cool. Oh. I mean, she can't just be some weird space witch. No, <laughs> so we, love they show we've fact. had that already. David Frank. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've had the she's just some weird space witch. So I'm down for giving some uh, backstory to it because I remember when just this uh, movie was just being talked about. I remember me and Armin had passed around ideas of what if the like the stones were in different. Like I don't want to go too transformy on it, but like. The one, like, what if they were in different landmarks around uh, the world oh, so or like, something? So, like, they're like, 
like in some like you know like like temples or you know, uh, yeah. sacred locations around the world. Like they had like a journey to go find them or something. That would have been Could cool. Do- yeah, like an Indiana Jones adventure. Yeah, exactly. Ancient crypts and shit. Like, yeah. yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, if it is something like that, where if she is the original Green Ranger or an original Power Ranger, and she just, like I said, got to the dark side, I think that adds a lot more than we've actually had of any backstory to Power Rangers. Because I know yeah. there's people who have made comics, like their own digital comics or their own little short stories about backstories to this of how Zordon was, how Rita, how Zed was, and I think it's interesting. I don't see why we can't have a big backstory to it. Like, why not? There's yeah. nothing... They, they they literally give you nothing in the show to add for backstory, so you could just create your own. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, Power Rangers isn't such a sacred property that you can't change things up, and I'm glad they're taking an original direction with it, if that is what indeed what they're doing. Yeah, but it's kind of generic, though, isn't it? Really? It's, it's generic, I mean, and it's, <laughs> it's the f- thing about the villain being a dark, twisted version of the hero kind of yeah. idea yeah. again, but I don't know. It's, it's an easy way to introduce them to a new universe and maybe yeah, yeah. set up I mean, a like, sequel where they can do something bigger, but put but, Ivan Ooze yeah. in it. I mean, like, it does make sense, like having her be the original Green Ranger, so she can pass that Green Ranger black like, power on. Yeah, that, that it, makes more a... sense than what the show ever did. But yeah. uh, something that, if this does it the way we think is going to do it, that I thought the Flash was going to do it on the TV show was that Reverse Flash in season one actually got Barry's Flash suit, and then through all the running through time and all the battles, like it got turned yellow and black and stuff like that, all like. Uh, just that, we got yeah. stuff on it. I thought that was gonna happen because usually that happens in the show. I mean, in the comics where uh, Eobard Don gets Barry's suit and then it turns into like whatever it turned into. But so it but, just reverses the colors somehow. Yeah. Like they didn't really explain I mean, how it works. It just sort yeah. of happens. I mean, they, they also. I mean, they also did the crossover where they made a Megatron a speedster. Oh yeah. Well, that's not uh, even the crossover. That's just a basic <laughs> like uh, episode. Uh, <laughs> I, that confused me so much when that happened. But all I'm saying is, this is this is gonna be. I mean, interesting part. I'm still kind of interested in this movie because the trailer didn't really turn me off like it did most people. But I mean, let's go down the line. Are you I, I at least gonna watch it in theaters? Let's say that. Are you gonna watch it in theaters mm. down the line? Yeah, I uh, guess. Okay. Okay. Possibly, Just like yeah. It okay. all depends on the next trailer. Okay. If, yeah. the, if it yeah. looks like Transformers when everything's fighting, I'm checking yeah. out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll give you that because uh, that would just be like you've seen this movie before, basically. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah cause it's like it's like from what the the toys the uh, Zords don't really. Yeah, I, everything's aren't... fucking six legs. Like. Can, can I, every, everything's I just, just gray for me. I don't know. It's one weird. of the things a lot of people didn't like in the first trailer though was that the teens seem to be like juvenile. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, but where else are you going to find teens with attitude and detention? <laughs> Yeah, you got to go to the detention hall. Like, it's amazing these kids somehow had attitude in the show, but really, they were like just like the goody two shoes of the school. Yeah, but, like, they never Tom, really did anything. It was nineties attitude, so it oh, was yeah. good attitude. It was Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what you had exactly. That's what you got to think. Nineties <laughs> attitude. It wasn't, it wasn't so much edgy. Yeah. yeah, same attitude that Bubsy the Bobcat had. <laughs> it's that I've got bleached blonde hair. And I'm gonna be. Hard. I say catchphrases. <laughs> Oh, I, I hope they say. Well, I remember in the trailer they did have the song at least in like a different kind of. No, way. they had the slow piano at the end. Yeah, yeah, and the nostalgic piano. Same thing Ghostbusters had. Yeah, I thought that was cool. So, Star Wars had it. Right. Yeah. With that though, we will move on to our next piece of news, and that is the teaser for the new Mutants movie, and that is a storyboard animatic that kind of just got released. Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, everybody's seen it, right? Just making sure. Nope. Yeah. yeah. About, about the Hilbert. You've seen it. Don't lie. That's, that's why I said, yeah. I went, yeah. Oh, I thought you said nope. I was like, <laughs> what? Because uh, you I, wouldn't stop talking about the Hilbert. Yeah. I was going to say yeah. that. was because uh, you, you were one of the few people that I just hear, like, were so excited. Like, oh, this is, this is going to be pretty it looks cool. So good. Yeah. I mean, it does. It really does. Because of uh, it, it's not hiding away from the fact of that it's kind of, like, out there and it has this kind of magical sword and, like, this weird big bear, which it might be King Kong level. Yeah, that was an awesome picture as well. Like, mm. yeah. So if this is along the lines of what the movie is actually gonna be, how's everybody feeling about it? Are we well, more um, excited than ever about X Men? They all, they always pitch New Mutants as like a horror style Ooh, movie. No. Yeah, and like, I think they kind of wanted to be like their Stranger Things. Ah, that'd be cool. 
That's interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. With yeah. these kids, uh, but that's so, why they're new mu- mutants. They're all kids, like just getting into their powers. Like, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> I I assume I though, it, above them. it would be in the same little X Men universe they're having, but I just it wouldn't have really any. Maybe it'd have a cameo from. Logan. Well, no, we're supposed even... to have um, James McAvoy, but yeah. how likely that is now, I don't know. Because of, yeah, because all of them are kind of done. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm more likely to get him on the TV show than in another movie. You're not going to well, get McAvoy at all because they're done. Well, unless he wants to come back, uh, if he wants to, that's it. I, mean, I just, we don't know I... how they're feeling. They could want to come back, even though we don't. We're like, come on, McAvoy, just don't. Just like you know, you're well, better the than way, this. The way the way the three are sounding, like Lawrence McAvoy and Fassbender, they ain't returning. I can yeah. see Lawrence. You remember oh, no, this? Lawrence is done. She's, no, 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 that's what I meant. I can, I can see her leaving that? the most. But yeah. those three actors made a pact on the set of the last one, though. Like I remember it being in the media and all that shit. Like, if any one of them doesn't return, none of them do. Yeah. Like, Ooh. it was those three. They were like, if any of us are not in the next film, none of us do it. And like and they, think, they all agreed on that. And like with the reception of the last film, they're not coming back. Yeah. The, the only reason I'd say they might just do a cameo is the reason because of McAvoy and Fassbender really have like this big bromance on X Men, and I'm just like <laughs> maybe they want to stick around and keep it going and stuff like that. But that's the only. Uh, hey, but this thing like New Mutants doesn't actually need a cameo. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Or you can take this opportunity to bring in like your second stage Xavier. That links McAvoy's to what's his uh, Stewart's. Uh, yeah. Just you reboot it, else? make it X Men '94. That'd be a no, no. <laughs> that'd be so much oh, fun. Nineties X Men movie. That cartoon was not as good as everyone remembers it. To be no, it was great. <laughs> No, it had a good intro, and that's it. No, it yeah. adapted some key comics pretty well. It, it adapted it, but it it doesn't hold up. It's like every nineties cartoon; it does not. Hold well, up. Batman one does. A Spider Man, I agree, does not hold uh, up. I'm, I'm not. There's a lot of nineties cartoons that kind of don't. But... It's. They... I still yeah. say X Men was pretty damn good. I need to rewatch it. I don't remember like too much. Uh, I rewatched, I, I, I rewatched the Days of Future Past one, and it was god awful. So wait, it takes we, a lot of sound though. Do we know if? In this movie, it's Jean Grey, Scott, and no. them might show up, or is it just it's more... Not, it's not about them at all. Okay. You, well, you they got, could show up, bro. They could, but... I don't think not, so, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, you've got sure. Wolfsbane, um, Magic, well, Cannonball, Sunspot, and I never remember. I think it's they're, Danny Moonstar. They're getting the whole That's Game of Thrones cast, apparently, which is really only two people, but still. Uh, they're getting the whole cast, <laughs> because they've got Macy... Macy, is that a serious name? Ma- I say Macy. Um, Macy. Yeah, I Maisie. say Macy. The pilot has Sean Bean as, uh, as more. <laughs> He's there just to die. Yeah, and just so, for the animated series. Perfect casting, Sean Bean. <laughs> but this might be the movie we all kind of need for the X-Men universe just because it is going away. It is trying something different. And it's something similar to how Matthew Vaughn tried something different with these X-Men. Yeah, it was, it was the same kind of characters, the basic two, but... He did something different. It would like his movie is way different than the other movies, and I think the other movies kind of blend along the same the yeah. same direction. Well, wow. things like Mutants X Force is what the franchise needs because it's not the same team of five, or it's not even like the same three we've seen no. for the last yeah. sixteen years. Like, let's get away from them. Like, there's more characters and just Wolverine and all that. I also hope that along with this, because this, like we said, the storyboard looks uh, great. It's something along what we want. But I also hope if this can keep it going, that maybe Deadpool 2 will keep it going, even though losing his director. So it's, you know, and the Deadpool- damage never happening. So, yeah. I still thought, like, Kick-Ass 2 was decent enough. And they lost, the, they lost like, Matthew Vaughn. Did they lose Matthew Vaughn? Yeah. Well, he went to do Kingsman instead. He never really does a sequel. He always He's, does. He like, set it up though in the first film. Like I don't see why he would set it up if he never intended. Yeah, but did Matthew Vaughan actually leave? Did he sign on and leave, or did he I heard leave? it was creative differences? But I could be wrong. <laughs> they always have creative differences, with Matthew Vaughan. I feel bad for him, but he makes his own good movies. So uh, he doesn't really need uh, the same franchise because he has his own. Like he always makes good movies. So yeah. yeah, same thing that happened with X Men First Class. He makes one good film, suddenly the studio wants a piece of it, and he leaves. <laughs> And so, he's awesome. With that though, we'll actually move on to uh, something that's across from Marvel altogether, and we're gonna be talking about DC and mentioning 
kind of the DC epic crossover that's going on at the moment and some of the stuff that's been happening in it and also how the promo photos kind of revealed the Hall of Justice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tom, I don't know if you saw the recent Supergirl episode. Oh, but, yes. Yes. Uh, I don't, probably mentioned Tristan didn't, so this will be a more of a you and me conversation, but <laughs> they they probably have something to say about this if like uh, they want. So with, I know some people were complaining that the last minute was only the crossover part. I was kind of disappointed in that too, but we kind of knew that. We're like, man, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't so much a crossover, but I hope no. the next, like, the episode oh, yeah. of Flash that's coming up shows those two attempts to get through with the portal that, you know, what obviously I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, I kind of thought that at a certain moment through the first, that last night Supergirl episode, that Flash was going to come out of the portal to help Supergirl fight Cyborg Superman. Yeah. That would have been a crossover. Well, if you just that would be interesting if like she was about to lose to him and the Flash comes through at the last minute and saves her ass again. He's just like we're making a habit of this. Yeah, like something oh, that like that. Been fun. What a bit of fun little crossover part, and then Still, it, it would have been. It yeah, I liked it a lot, but I thought something like that would have made it more of a part of the crossover. Um, but going into that, this Hall of Justice thing that they showed in the promo photos, do you think it's going to be legit, or do you think it's just for promo photos? I think it's just for promo photos. It's like when the Flash crossover episode happened and they had the picture of them at the stadium having a race, like the classic comic cover. Yeah. Like it's, it's, I think it's just a fun poster. Okay. Uh, well, this could be something to Mitchell Tristan. Do you all think that the CW would add another show without taking away one that's already? Like, I mean, they could. Do you think they would add... Because, I mean, they're already moving Legends to Tuesday after the Flash mm. because of some viewership thing, so... Legends might be the next one to be cancelled so do you, but do you think they would just add another one after seeing how Legends is doing I mean like they, they're always testing what new shows they could try and bring into You're... the overarching universe but as of right now I really don't see them like adding a new show like right after it, Legends gets cancelled it, it'd be like well I, I could see them maybe seeing the possibilities of Legends being cancelled and they're like so we have to have a kind of backup plan, a backup show to that, which could be a Justice League show, which I've been pitching for the longest time now because they now have even more heroes to do it with, and you can make it eight episodes, mid-season, but, Agent but Carter they, type stuff. If, but if they do do the you know Justice League type show, who are they going to get? Because I already know most people oh, would yeah. want you know, Superman to be on there, but they, yeah. you don't know if they can have him on for so many yeah. episodes or if he's just going to be on for an arc as like a, a guest yeah. Justice League yeah, you're. So I don't know if, like Tom would want that if you would want like Superman, you know, being like you know a five episode arc and then like basically not be seen again for the rest of the season. You're definitely right on that. I think if people are gonna get something, they don't want like you said in bits and pieces. They would want it full force, which is why they're saying why wasn't Superman a part of the crossover because he was only a part of two episodes in Supergirl. I agree. I was on the same thing. I was like. You could have had Superman, you know, they, you could have said, hey, wait, let me bring my cousin along. He can yeah. help a lot. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, you don't have to have him in, like, every, like, every episode. You can have him, like, you know, either talking, talking to, talking to his cousin either b- yeah. before or after the episode is over to see what, you know, and it could be corny, but, like, what she's, what she's learned so far from her experiences with everyone. Exactly. Um, but I definitely do, going back a little bit, I definitely do hope that the Hall of Justice thing ends up being a a reality but i think mitch would more know know more about this than me that a lot of times they just put stuff on promo photos to be cool to have a yeah. promo about it <laughs> or or it's probably there for like one or two episodes before it explodes <laughs> before yeah, it explodes. <laughs> uh I, I mean in the trailer they show this moment which is probably the ending in which they all kind of have that new 52 moment where they're in front of the american flag and someone's saying well these heroes saved the day and stuff like that so I would hope maybe the Flash comes out and does a new 52 moment and says, like, we could be the Super 7 or something. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but uh, he says that. And then he's like, no, we're going to be the Justice League. <laughs> uh, but before we move on to the next piece, I just want to say that with the crossover and everything I'm seeing, this definitely does look like something that should continue every year. And I think they will because it's something that makes sense but it's also it's a payoff of everything that's happened so far of the dc tv universe building off and now all these characters crossing over Mm -hmm. and tom could probably uh go with this that if we want a justice league show we wouldn't uh, because tristan said before that 
we wouldn't just want Superman for a couple of episodes and then leave. We'd want him for a full force. So somehow they're yeah. going to have to get Supergirl's Earth and everything she yeah, has like, into like, this yeah. universe. Like, yeah, like, like Tom, I, I don't know if you would want, like, you know, Superman to be, like, part of, like, a four-episode arc and then never be seen again for the rest of yeah, the season. Yeah, I mean, that's that was my fear with the two-episode arc on Supergirl. But, I mean, they're, they're talking about possible, like, they said more when it came out, but there's a possibility he could return. But if, if they were going to make a Justice League show and Superman was the leader of the Justice League, That'd as he cool. kind of is in the comics, like, that would be what I want to see. But I wouldn't just want him as a co-star character like he should be like um like john jones is in supergirl like he's always there as kind of yeah, like like for me like i would like like i would accept it if it were like an episode arcs where you'd get like three or four members of the justice league for uh for one arc and then they would switch over to you know the other three or the other four characters in another arc so you can rotate yeah. characters you yeah know, i mean all at the same time i wouldn't mind if it was like if they were to introduce a load more characters and do something like Young Justice, I wouldn't mind that so much live action because Superman's not really in that as much, but it's still very much a Justice League oriented show. Like they're basically training to join the Justice League. But I mean, what I've been saying for the longest time was that if they were going to do something along those lines and finally get Supergirl's Earth and every every character in there, even the even Batman, because I think he's in there. Gotham City's in there. Too. I don't think they're going to bother. I think no. Batman's in both. No, I don't think he's, well, I don't, well, if they were going to bring, like, basically Superman, Megan, Martian Manhunter, all of them over here, they should just have this, like, they should have did it during the crossover, which they probably won't, but, which something happens that affects, like, the multiverse, and then, I've been saying it for the longest time, that after that, whatever happens, all the characters on the CW shows, like Arrow, Flash, Legends, they act like Supergirl's always have been a part of the Earth. Like, you know how when Barry changes the timeline and no one knows the difference? Isn't, you, isn't the whole thing in Legends of Tomorrow at the moment about and like old Barry warning about a crisis? I like, think that's just going to be... The, maybe uh, that's Legion something... I I, how cool would it be if he's not that much older and it's just Barry running through like infinite Earths and it's like as he gets older and disintegrates? Like, his message is from like as he ages to the last point. Oh, oh, That'd oh, be oh, awesome. Oh, oh. Well, with that one, like, was in the 90s, Barry was actually, well, he was getting older, but he was becoming part of the Speed Force yeah. when, when he was doing it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, he could be part of the Speed Force. We can have another uh, episode, like, uh, what was that one? The Lonely Dinosaur or whatever? Oh, uh, that was a really good one. That was uh, a great Kevin episode. Kevin Smith but... did that one. Kevin Smith also did last night's, I think, Supergirl episode, and it was really good, Yeah. Too. Uh, like a lot more action. Like he's, he said in a podcast recently, he thinks he's found how to do it now. Like, he was sort of just learning on the flash. But yeah. no, he's definitely found how to do it now. I mean, I'm so down with more crossovers, and I think we're all in agreement that it'd be more difficult to do a, a, a Justice League show than it would to uh, you, because you could do either Young Justice or Justice League. Because I keep thinking that you need because Legends. I don't know if you heard about Legends is going to be moving to Tuesday nights, and it's kind of the viewership yeah, has gone down. So if that's canceled, I feel like they could substitute it with the Young Justice or Justice League. Or I hope it's not cancelled because I actually think Legends has become a lot better this season than it was last season. Uh, Maybe that's just me. I've, I've been much preferring this season. I think it's still the same amount of wackiness, but oh, have, yeah, you yeah. Se- have, you, have you seen that uh, outlaw, that country episode where they have Jonah Hex? Yeah, I feel, I I I quite feel like feminism all the, as well. well, all the characters were just trying to do cowboy accents and it felt like I don't know. It just so felt so random and wacky. I was like, "Why are you just all doing a cowboy accent?" I get the oh. hero Star Trek. And oh, Star instead Trek of always had those episodes. Wait, you mean like instead of just talking how they normally speak, they're trying to talk like Southern? Yes, and it just felt so random. I felt like all the and characters like, were like, would feel, "They didn't want to." Yeah, they're like, around cowboys. Be, that'd be really, really awkward because if they did that. The the natives would actually know they're not from around there because they're talking really weird. Yeah, I know, but it's just, I don't know. It just felt <laughs> the way I guess the characters did it felt like the actors were auditioning for some uh, western show. Oh, they were, show they were trying too hard. A little bit. I was I, like, and then some of the like Atom the guy should not be this good at a southern accent. Atom should have a really shitty southern accent because. Uh, the guy still, uh, he is like, I'm wearing, I don't know how to use them, but I'm wearing spurs. I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. I was just kind of I random. always wondered what spurs were for. I always figured they were like some sort of kicking weapon. <laughs> well, no, it's, I, it's to poke the horse to make it. Yeah, run, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah but they, the can't faster. you do that without spurs? 
You mm. can, but they're more. I don't know. <laughs> they're more cruel. It, it just it it, it, it makes, <laughs> uh, makes the, the horse. horse it makes the horse more uh, in I, line with what you wanted to do. Okay. If you got kicked in the sides with like you're like yeah. let's just blades, you, you want to go faster? Doing what you want. I know Tom knows I'm not really hating on Legends. It's just out of the four shows. Oh, well, I didn't even finish season one before yeah, this started. Um, I had to catch up and shit. Okay. Like, I hated season one. <laughs> the end. And like, like they're doing this crossover, and yet like they're forgetting about Constantine throughout this whole thing. Yeah. Well, I I, w- I would have hoped that in something like this they would call Constantine, but I mean, only Green Arrow has his phone, so uh, his phone number, so like that's like, and also this. Hey, I mean, look, they have a team. You would feel like, oh, I'm gonna call this one dude I know just well, for some backup. I, I think the whole in, of last season. Well, I think in this season they actually mention. Was it this season or last season? It might have been the end of last season. They mentioned he's in hell, like, doing his own business. I want to know what he's doing in hell. Like, can we see, like, an animated series of him if they won't do a live action anymore? Vixen has an animated series. I mean, it's, Vixen it's an animated show. episode. Let's we got honest. Justice League Dark okay. coming, which yeah, is... Yeah, like, the old, and they got the two, well, is, is Vixen season two going to actually be, like, episodes, or is it going to be spliced? I, by I don't know. It's, it's season two already minutes. happened, and it's still, like, yeah, five minutes, which is whack. But I don't know why they do five minutes. It should at least be... 20 or 15 or something That's 10 minutes would be nice um but before we move on to uh our next piece of news uh just uh really quick uh tom would you uh like how are you super excited to see this rest of like how all this come together and do you think oh, they're gonna yeah. have, are they or you think they're gonna kind of mention like having a team or a league at the very end because smallville when they had their little justice episode with all of them they kind of mentioned like oh we should start a league or something you know something with justice yeah. in it. you know basically little teasers like that uh, yeah you, i you hope do. they do um Me too. i'm really looking forward to the rest of this like Me i too. actually planned at some point and like the reason i hope that the flash shows the previous two attempts to get through like today to the supergirl universe in the next episode, is like oh, trying to do a fan edit. Like, I want to cut all the episodes together and like put them in chronological order. Like, if it does mess with stuff like that, and that would be yeah. cool. That's what I thought was gonna happen in uh, today's Flash episode. That you're gonna see Barry yeah. and Cisco kind of do portals, and I then they end up on different Earths. Back and forth. Well, what if they end up on different Earths? Because that would be cool. Like, are you sure this is the right Earth? <laughs> like you said, we. You, know, you show up and Tom Welling's just like hovering in the sky. Like, oh, what do that'd you be amazing. But that won't happen. <laughs> He's hovering. It's a CG Tom Welling. It's just far enough away that you can't tell it's actually Brandon Routh's CG model. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they did on the floor. Right. Finally. With that, though, we'll move on to our next piece of news. Finally, because uh, we have Fox dates two untitled Marvel films. And really, that's... All there is, the, the two films are scheduled to go on November 2nd, 2018, and February 14th, 2019. What do we think this is, guys? New Mutants and Deadpool. Okay. Uh, Deadpool, oh, Deadpool makes sense for February. De- De- yeah. Yeah. Well, Deadpool 3? <laughs> no, Deadpool 3. What, what no, it means they've got the Fantastic Four rights back, guys. That's, that's what it is. Because Deadpool... Uh, if, if, if anything, Marvel would probably just want Doctor Doom. Wait, what, <laughs> what, wouldn't Deadpool... To come out before then, like, doesn't come out twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen? I thought it was twenty seventeen. No, it no, comes out twenty eighteen. Yeah, it comes out twenty eighteen. So the twenty nineteen could be Deadpool three. Because uh-uh. well, that, that, no, that's probably going to be New Mutants to twenty nineteen. Oh, you don't think twenty eighteen is going to to November second twenty? What do you think is that? Gonna, gonna they, be? they haven't. They haven't really got a cast. They've got two people. Possibly three. Okay, you're right. Uh, so well, that, that's all that they've announced. You don't know how many people. They haven't even really announced it. It's just like people saying. Yeah. Like it's whenever they do it's... say who's actually in a movie, whenever it's confirmed, like they've been cast months prior. Like. <coughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, they probably. Yeah, they're probably just waiting yeah. for the ink to dry Hello. on the contract to say anything. Probably. Hello. Probably all legal. Yeah, I mean, but. I get what you're saying on that one that it will be the 2019, but then, but then what's 2018? It can't be Deadpool two because Deadpool, Deadpool two, two, Deadpool two is in January, isn't it? No, they start filming, like in and not January. this January, like, January 18, like 2018. I mean, maybe. I mean, since um, isn't the reason Tim Miller left is because he wanted to keep it more grounded and they were going to go. No, be- there's, there's been so many things said about that. Like, I, just- I was just thinking maybe the film is more on schedule for release now than it was before. Like maybe there's they've toned down the visuals enough to. But like even so, they, they haven't even started filming yet. So yeah, January, cool. early, well, early tw- well, but still early 2018. That gives them a year. Yeah, but, like, did you shoot the last one in like four weeks. Like, wasn't it it's like, about six months, but like if they're going to be a bigger movie, then uh, like we don't, we haven't even got all the cast yet. No. We don't know. So, 
Yeah, but sometimes they start filming and then you hear the cast is announced just because of like that's True. just how it is. But like, I, you know, it hasn't. We haven't heard it started filming. So. No, well, it should start filming early 2017. Is what I just looked up. Uh, Deadpool two, and it says start filming early 2017 and then released early 2018. But you know, we with losing Tim Miller, that means they got to look at other studios now to kind of like do their CG work for them. Oh, yeah. And do all that stuff because that's what Tim Miller brought along with directing. Yeah, so, it, so it could, it could be it's a lot more way to. It. Uh, but I think like delaying it to November second. What's, what's of, the date? What November was it? January twenty eighteen. No. What, oh, twenty eighteen. Oh, twenty eighteen is January twelfth. That's way too that, early. So like, it's February. Why, why not February? I mean, what, what's wrong with January? Because that's way too early. Because usually it would be February. It? it seems way too early, and it's in, around that. I mean, people said February was too early for no, Deadpool one. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't think it's too early. I think no, January is a dump. Like, no, January is that. February has well, had some good films. Hunger Games. Okay, well, uh, like well, well they, 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 they did. Well, February. they did set it around uh, Valentine's Day. So basically, the guys were just going there with their maybe dates, just watching movies. New Year's. Oh, so yeah, it's it be could January. be. Okay, you're right. They could set it around that for a purpose of setting around the New Year's and having like some sort of uh, some type of marketing with that. Uh, but. I'm just saying, I thought it was going to be closer to February for some reason. Uh, but I don't... I mean, I don't, it's, the, it's the month before February. <laughs> yeah. Close well, I thought it was going to be Valentine's Day, Day again. That's yeah. why. Not like in February, just Valentine's Day. But uh, I, I don't know. Delaying it to November 2nd would be kind of way too far, wouldn't it be? Unless they really have to schedule back everything because, of, like you said, Tim Miller leaving, the CG well, work, and all that. So, Because like, that's the other date, November I, 2nd, 2018. They... Yeah, it won't be the... November one. That's what I was, that's what I said. That's because uh, I w- like because February 14, twenty nineteen would probably would be New Mutants as we said, and then the other film. I mean, the other date they announced was November second, twenty eighteen, and I don't think they put Deadpool two in that. So it's wonder like it'd probably be another X Men film because November is usually around like that fall area is when the, an X Men film would come out. Well, aren't the X Men movies every three years anyway? Yeah, but, three? yeah. So I mean. But it came out in 2016, Apocalypse, so... I thought it was every two. Didn't Days of Future Past come out in 2014? I can't remember. Let me see. Let's look it up real quick. Cause I they... mean, maybe they've made up with Josh Trank and it's actually Fantastic Four 2. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. no <laughs> they they well, can they... make up Trank all they want. Like, that movie game. Happened. Well, there you go. Uh, Days of Future Past came out in 2014, so they're every two years, oh, so, so that could be an two. X-Men film. Um, I, I think where they're rejigging it. I don't think you're going to get a, a main X Men movie for a while. No, well, it's just, it's, I wonder what. It, you're probably going to get Deadpool 2, New Mutants, and X Force. Oh, yeah, They're that just... could be that. I forgot about X Force. I keep forgetting about X Force. Yeah, yeah, I forgot all about that one. Yeah, so that, that could be a possibility of adding in there since. Uh, the, it actually, like you said, very cool. Might be an X23 film. We don't know. Cause at oh, this yeah. point, they could. Because do... <laughs> of the, the Logan thing, but. Um, yeah. They've well, talked Hugh Jackman into one more camera. I mean, we have to see how that movie plays out, too, the ending, to see how it really, how the next one, would, if they have an X-23, or if Logan's someone new, or he dies, or whatever. Okay. So. Well, Lo- Logan Logan tells X-23 she's not a clone, and she's like, are you sure? Yes. <laughs> well, I have clothes in the healing factor. That, that, that's exactly how it's going to end. Um, so with that, though, we'll move on to our next piece of news, and that is Rogue One pre-sales crash a bunch of ticket sites and sell hundreds of thousands of tickets in minutes. I mean, this was the crashing part was kind of expected because oh, Force Awakens did that. But yeah. uh, just the way they describe it is kind of like, whoa, this might have done even more than Force Awakens. Maybe. It's, I mean, it's I'm, the I'm same surprised. Story that they have every time. Yeah, I, I'm surprised it did crash anything. To be honest, oh, cause, really? Because really? it's not a main Star Wars film. But right? it looks yeah. better than the last it, main Star Wars. I mean, yeah, like, but it, it, if, if it, anything, it's a prequel. Better. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. it's kind of like people who don't really go for prequels. Like, yeah. but maybe it's just because it has Star Wars redemption. in it. Yeah, maybe it has. You know, there's no lightsaber, so the General Lawrence is kind of like, this isn't really a Star it Wars. It isn't going to be lightsabers, forget about that. Yeah. Well, it's going to be it's just... Okay, you yeah, forget just a... about like the star power of Jimmy Smith. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Smith is mean, in the movie, like it's going to make a billion dollers. I, I mean, yeah. if, if, if anything, this is like a, a space espionage military movie. Exactly, like, it's kind of... I'm, I'm, not, I'm just surprised it's... No, yeah, people are actually going for it. But then again, tickets like pre-orders are going up every time anyway. So it's kind of like, wow, another yeah. one's done it again. See, right? and, and people said the theater is dying. The theater is not dying. No. People want to see movies in the theater. No, like 
it's a whole like, different experience. Yeah, I mean, like if like if one theater like twenty minutes away from me has a recliner that I can sit in and order food from from surround sound in like four K, I'll go to that for like ten bucks. <laughs> I'm having like three theaters in my city, like all within twenty minutes of each other. So it's kind of like, yeah, they're dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I just refuse to pay for films that look like garbage. That's the difference. Like, so, I only pay for good movies now. So maybe bad movies aren't well, selling it. That, that's what most people do, isn't it? It's exactly. Kind of like, like, like it's, it's not the theaters thing. that are dying. It's that the studios yeah. are making shitty films and blaming yeah. ticket sales. Yeah, and I don't think well, there's yeah, part because the, well, the theaters have to take their cut too. So. No, there's part of it too that like the small independent films that get hit in theaters and everything don't really get the buzz that a a big blockbuster would. So yeah, they don't have the advertising budget. It's just yeah. marketing. Yeah, so That's the only reason. <laughs> yeah, so there's different reasons for it. Like they they those are really could be good films, great films. They just don't have the advertising to it, and then they adver- they have the advertising for a, a blockbuster film, and sometimes it isn't that good. So just it depends really. Um, but a lot of people who say the theater's dying are really uh, just because video, like video at home or like home on demand, all that. And then you have big TVs that are like 80 inches now, so or like those big movie little rooms with projectors. So I could see why people would be more comfortable there. But I just I think like you said, different experience in the theater, man. Way different experience, especially yeah. if you go for like IMAX and shit. Exactly. I mean, you don't get IMAX in your room. What's yeah. Well, you could. It depends. No you way. You very, can't put that in a room. <laughs> you feel well, very, very well, te- yeah, Technically, you can, but it costs you pretty you, penny, though. You'd have but to I mean, break Tony, I've got as an IMAX theater. You know, no. I've got to remortgage the house to get to the bloody yeah. IMAX in London. So what's the difference? For uh, you, but you'd have to break through your roof to get an IMAX in it. That'd be crazy. Uh, yeah, that's that's why you have to have some uh, some of your family members that are in construction and right. electrician. You're right. Yeah, you just need a very very I, big house. I remember a house kind of down the street. Uh, they it was a one story house, and then uh, months later we realized, oh, when did it turn into a two story house? And then we saw <laughs> that Mexicans lived there. And we're like, you right, oh, makes sense, why. makes sense. Uh, they built oh. it real quick. Uh, and more, they needed more room for more people. I mean, I, I would want a two story house. I always see. Does that happen? That's genius. Like, just yeah, you don't have enough room in your house. Build an extra floor. That's yeah, genius. yeah. I mean, I, I would want like a two story house. Don't I need that do. actually. Yeah. Like, man, now I want. Is it one. legal? Let's build one in my house. Yeah, it's legal. Well, it's, it's oh, it's legal if you have the papers for it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's That'd be legal. amazing. Just buy like a shed and just like keep building up and up and up. Oh just end up a tower block and rent it out to keep, other people. Keep building up and up. <laughs> uh, uh, right, but the engine got Trump Tower. <laughs> so has everybody bought their tickets for Rogue One? Because I haven't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't need, I, need to I, because they say it's like sold out, and I go the night of, and they have tickets still. Oh, if Star Wars right. yeah. didn't sell out opening night, like midnight screening, oh, yeah, it didn't for you? So. No, no, there was no, still no, a few empty seats in the theater. So, like, I was going to say the only movie that's ever sold out it for me is Deadpool. It's on like six screens at the midnight screening as well, so there's always yeah, a few yeah. seats Whoa. in each. Seat. No, they also Whoa. add screens at the last minute, like the last oh, hour or something. Well, well not, not no, not not where I am. Uh, they they do it like around like seven p.m. and they yeah. have screenings all the way till about one a.m. in the morning. Well, well, because at first it showed seven p.m., nine p.m., and then twelve p.m. And then they're starting at like seven thirty, uh, one a.m. So it sometimes they add in, but Force Awakens was, I think, full for my like Thursday night. It's not even midnight anymore. It's just Thursday. I mean, it, I mean, it, 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 they are full. It's just that it's a little bit easier to get tickets now. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I just usually go that Friday, uh, in like the afternoon or something, or I might go that Thursday night. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. We'll see on that. Um, yeah, I'll play it by ear as well. I think. Yeah. Um, see how it goes. So with that, we'll move on to our last piece of news, and I think you guys will know more about this than me. But the whole Marvel versus Capcom well, Four rumors. Yeah. Have well, it's just that uh, no, some images have been surfacing that their Capcom is going to announce Marvel vs. Capcom Four, okay. but with, with some other rumors that are saying that they're going to well, Marvel is taking away all the mutants and X Men characters <laughs> and putting uh, more Marvel Universe characters in, mm-hmm. like like they're going to sub like Wolverine in for uh, Black Panther. Yeah. It does not surprise me in yeah. the slightest. And but the fact that people are getting angry at it is kind of like, how did you not see this coming? Yeah, why did you get excited about it and then get angry at that rumor? Like, why would true. they put them in there? It's a business it's, decision. It's, it's because yeah. certain characters are OP, like uh, Doom. And uh, they're for some reason, people are getting mad Phoenix was in there because she's not that very good. 
And yeah. Yeah, it's just like some of the characters, even uh, like Doom being a, f- a Fantastic Four character is probably not going to be in there because I think Capcom stated that at one point getting those characters was a hassle in of, in and of itself. Being for the fact that I think what was it like Fox and Marvel <laughs> have some weird juggling act about who gets the royalties and rights for video game characters. Well, it should have been Ooh. Marvel, surely, because they own all like the other like the merchandise and all that. Right? Yeah. It's the subsidiary. Uh, yeah, and it's just it's just it's just weird because you know who who gets it, who doesn't, and whether yeah. Marvel wants to wants to advertise the characters that they don't currently own for films in a game yeah. that people are going to play and that Marvel's trying to get into the video game business by using well, uh, well-known well development teams to make their own video game cinematic universe if they're going to do that. Mm. See, that would just be awesome. I hope that happens. I mean, well, they're trying you, you, to with, like, Spider-Man here. So. Yeah, yeah, and I'm super excited for Spider-Man. I just hope that the people that can't see, that there are certain things that are very... St- Stick, there's some sticky legal situations going on here. And it's, well, it's, there's that, and it's like it's a brand. Yeah, like, the Marvel brand now doesn't include X Men or Fantastic Four. Yeah, they've been removing it from artwork and stuff. Exactly, like, this, like, this has been happening for yeah. decades, probably. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. it's nothing new. Certainly, yeah. the last ten years, that like, X Men have definitely. Yeah. Dropped yeah, and like uh, Mitch, you were, I think you were, I don't know if you saw this, but when I was looking at like, comments and stuff on their on boards and everything, <laughs> they were getting like really pissed because, you know, their X Men characters aren't there and that their Marvel's probably going to insert shitty inhuman characters in like uh, Usa <laughs> and it, Black It, it always makes me laugh. It's kind of like people could, for some reason, X Men fans cannot like the inhumans for whatever reason. And it's like Black Bolt would be fun to play in a fighting game. Heck yeah. Like, yeah. And so would Medusa. Like you know, Medusa's got the hair. Why not? That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, it'd be the same. Like if they had Inhuman characters in this game, I'd want to see Watchmen characters in uh, Injustice because, uh, like, I'd, be I'd think it'd, it'd, think it'd be fun. Be yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's just I don't. I don't see why. Like you well, agree? Yeah. Why can't they like? Well, like I mean, it's well, it's, you, it's not even like, like yeah. Of, like, it's not even that. It's yeah. Automatically, like they're not inju- they're not mutants, so therefore they are shit. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird like that. Um, I mean, well, yeah, for, well, they all kind of like fighting games are kind of the same to me, yeah. so I don't yeah, know. I, really I literally have no interest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, cause I, I don't, the only reason I do is I dabble it, dabble in them like at the arcades because we still have, over here where I'm at, we still have like one or two arcades left. Yeah, we, yeah, we still have a couple here too. I have but, not seen arcades since I was eight. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, I've seen them and I've gone up to London and that's about it. Like, there's yeah, a bowling but... alley that has a few arcade machines, yeah. but I wouldn't oh, call that's it in um, is that Piccadilly? That one? Yeah. Well, the bowling alley. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, there's one in like, Kingston. And the reason why this isn't even getting any traction is is that it's coming from NeoGaf, and they don't uh, keep rumors up unless there's some credibility from yeah. the leaker. So no. that's why people are, are are getting this: is that if you're not if you don't have any credibility, they're going to take it down from uh, NeoGaf really quick. And from what the other was stating is that it's probably going to be at PSX this weekend with the Capcom Cup that's happening. So it's right going to be another exclusive, basically. More, more, and more likely, unless yeah, they do, unless they do it at, unless they do it at the Capcom Cup. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's going to have to wait to see if so it comes. They've clearly got a cushy deal with Sony going on, though, haven't they? Like well, with I, 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 that well, it, must be part of the Spider-Man deal. Yeah, yeah it's Has probably that, and that. The only reason most of these are happening is is because uh, for whatever reason, Capcom can't even fund their own uh, IPs anymore, so they have to ask other companies if they want to fund it. I I definitely think it's cool though that we have both of these, like Injustice and another Marvel Capcom coming out. You know, I think it's cool that we have both, even though one's more story heavy and the other one's more uh, mechanic heavy, I guess. Because uh, that's what it seems like. It seems like one is yeah. has just more story and justice, and then one is focuses more on the mechanics of the fighting. And yeah, they'll probably chat. I could see them changing mm-hmm. that for this one, giving it a no, story they, away. They, 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 yeah, well, they, yeah. They, they're they're trying. Justice has done well with the story. It's kind of like yeah. right. Well, out of this one game, you got the comic books and all this. So let's make like Marvel. I mean, I mean, the whole day, the whole day, they can because uh, Capcom for certain franchises they have their own comic books as well. So yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, and I think that was really it, right? Of yeah, those rumors. Basically. Yeah. So mm. I mean, I did like what you said about like possibly um, Doctor Manhattan 
being yeah, in Injustice cool. 2. I mean, that would be cool because I, the first game, what surprised me was the reveal that Nightwing was actually Damian Wayne and not... That was Dick a cool Lason. twist. And yeah. like, that was tied into like really current yeah, comics. Well, so it, it would be cool to, to have it tied into Rebirth. Well, you're going to have to uh, basically tweet at Ed Boon if you want your favorite character. And <laughs> they, they, they did it a couple times, but one of the ones I think was recently is, which Mortal Kombat guest character do you want in Injustice 2? And oh, for, for, for one reason or another, Sub Zero won that one. <laughs> of course he did. And, oh, but I do like. See, that. I just I want a little Johnny. I want little John, like Superboy, in Injustice. Uh, that would be, be amazing, funny. like a grown that, up John. Like that'd be funny. You think uh, he's fighting Connor, and it's yeah, that'd be but awesome. The, the thing, I mean, I don't know. Like Tristan's probably noticed this, but Ed Boon has just always putting on these yeah. voting things saying well, which yeah, characters because, you want to oh, see yeah because he likes to he likes to troll people on yeah. twitter and then he also <laughs> likes to get the fans involved to see which character should they add into the roster because like yeah. he said if he asks that see, and nobody well, says one of the characters that's in the game like he knows oh maybe this character doesn't need to be there as well yeah, or I they mean, can stop development on certain ones yeah i mean well, yeah because like i think i think one of the other ones was uh I think one. I think one he had was I think Starfire and another character. I forgot what her name was. Oh, Zatanna. I think yeah, it was her or Starfire and Zatanna won, and she actually got to well, be in the game. Well, he also put, "Do you want to see Watchmen characters in Injustice 2? And three fourths mm-hmm. of the people said yes. So maybe there's a possibility of one or two. Yeah, if, yeah, if he, in if, yeah, if he makes another uh, another voting uh, uh, voting poll about which you know Watchmen character would you want on the roster, then yeah. Mm. Yeah, so maybe Doctor Manhattan is a bit OP for the game, but I think it would well, be super super there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they yeah. they seriously down his powers for those games. Well, they they can down Doctor Manhattan for it. Well, he's a god. <laughs> like, they say Superman's a god, but Doctor Manhattan is literally like well, you can still god. do it. You know, Marvel has Thor in the game, didn't they? Yeah, I guess yeah. Thor's, so, Thor's less of a god than Doctor Manhattan. Well, uh, yeah, but he's one of the strongest. No. Yeah. With that though, do and you was... know there's going to be Doctor Strange in this new one. You think so? like, oh, of course he's gonna be in there. Well, well, Doctor Strange the movie he, is, he, is, no, well, Doctor Strange was in three. Oh, was he, three? Well, well, he, goes, yeah. like, he, he was still in there. Like, yeah. oh, then he'll stay in there if he was in the third one. Then, like, so if he's had a movie or they're getting a movie, it's gonna be in the game. Well, also he's gonna be in the game because he was in the game already. I don't think they wouldn't change yeah, him. I'm, I'm right for the ones that are gonna transition over from like the last one. Yeah, like I think another one was that expect a little, a little more of Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> characters in there because I think in Ultimate Three you only had Rocky. Yeah. That would be so fun to play as Groot. Uh, like just he could have like all some like tree powers I, and shit. Like, his arms grow and like grab people. You, like. I'd assume you either be Groot or Rocket, and then whenever your power ups or whatever, I don't really remember how you play Marvel Capcom, but there's always a power up in fighting games uh, that you use the other one, like like Groot's big. Like he grows bigger or, or rockets rocket. I don't know. There's power ups, right? I'm a, I've been playing Marvel yeah. Capcom. You, you mean you mean you mean super attacks? Yeah, I, I just say power ups by like when you charge up yeah. and then use some big attack or something. Because uh, I haven't played Marvel Capcom forever. Uh, characters like Gamora and shit would be fun to play as well, though. Like yeah, serious, have, like Gamora, ninja fighters. Like Gamora and uh, um, Nebula like lend themselves perfectly for fighting yeah. games. Oh yeah, yeah those like, Drax. Yeah, oh, they, Drax as well. Yeah, because yeah. they had Hulk and they added She Hulk, and, and yeah. She Hulk's yeah. just a quicker version of Hulk. Have Have they bothered like with making a wrestling game that's got um, Batista in it? Like bothered making a Drax skin for him because no, you'd think that would be like it. a money maker. So you yeah. could probably make your own Drax. Skin. Yeah, you can. You can make your own oh, hero you in it. Everybody just makes Superman, Batman, and Marvel <laughs> characters. That doesn't even, like you just make him green and say it's the Hulk. Yeah, everything's like, turned up to maximum. His head is ridiculous. Yeah, that's what shaken. that's what they do. Uh, uh, they do yeah. like superheroes fighting each other in those WWE games. And yeah. I, I just thought Batista's an official tie-in, yeah, an I'll official think... license tie-in. Like since he's the wrestler anyway, you get Batista in to well, record some dialogue and shit. Sometimes they don't even have Batista in it just because he's been out for a while and they're like, Yeah, oh, I know, but yeah, the movie's so coming out. I, don't, yeah. I mean, I don't think they they I don't think they really focus on the Marvel movies. I think they focus yeah. on their own thing. Uh, they're not crossing over like Arrow. Yeah, so I mean, with that, is there was there anything else to mention? I think we pretty much <laughs> covered everything. <laughs> like, uh, like uh, nothing. Yeah. Uh, nothing. You know what? It's I didn't realize it was the fifth week of the month, and mm. that in the fifth week of the month for comics, I forget that not really any it's come so out. Was it done? Oh, yeah. there is yeah. there is one thing that happened though that what? uh, their the our favorite pirate Scambro actually got a hold of uh. 
Ian Humans versus X Men Zero and linked it online. Oh, well, I Ooh. might hypothetically look at that. Well, you might hypothetically <laughs> look at that. I might. <laughs> hypoth- I might not hypothetically just wait till Mitch tells me what happens. Uh, hypothetically, yeah, of course. I think I think people were tweeting him what had happened, and like he's like, "I'm not going to send anything. I'm just going to upload the upload the thing. You guys have to look for it yourselves." And it goes into the whole thing that people might suspect that he works at a comic book shop is the reason how he's getting all the uh, yeah he, he has to he gets everything so early it's ridiculous yeah you know like uh i think marvel and even like dan slot are really pissed off at him all the time oh dan slot's the worst pissed off <laughs> that's just dan slot's like twitter yeah. persona since since it is a dumping week because i forgot it was the fifth week i'm just gonna re like catch up on some some of the marvel books i haven't caught up because uh so you know what comes out this week though don't you Joe? Uh, ghost rider yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all that. Yeah, See, I'm only, just like, reading. Sorry, go. No, I was like, there's only really three comics for DC that comes out, like two annuals and one basic, like a number seven or something. I was like, man. That's that's the weird thing about having like a, a fifth week. There's barely any comics coming out that uh, that Wednesday. Yeah. Why? Who who made the calendar? We gotta go talk to them. Be like, why'd y'all make a fifth? Well, week? I think I think Probably the Mayans like, said the Mexicans. Uh, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, I take full. Yeah. I take full. Blame. I just There's remember like, the Always Sunny in Philadelphia thing where they're discussing the difference between Mayans and Mexicans. He's like, the Spanish came and fucked the Mayans to death and turned them into Mexicans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh and it's like, well, anytime we get like a fifth week, it's just scraps. That's, all, that's it. Oh, well, in Humans vs. X Men comes out this week, right? But it's number zero. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. yeah. And apparently, I think from like what Wetchin says, like, you're not really missing much. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, you weren't missing much with the Zero issue for Civil War 2, but... Yeah. Hey, like just maybe I'll take this time to catch up on Civil War 2, but Mitch says I should just wait till they all end and just read it in one go. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm yeah. planning to do. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, I already know something that happened, so I really don't care if it's spoiled. Yeah. Right and it's like, you know, you just see, like, from what I was, from, like, what Bendis has been writing, he's not making Carol really, like, Really unfavorable and like. See really to me, hunting. Carol just like that's how Carol is. Like she never had a character like ten years ago, yeah. and like ever since she's been getting a character, <laughs> she's just stubborn, like hothead. And it's kind of oh, it yeah. does kind of fit. Right? Yeah, from like like the last issue of Civil War, it's like um Captain America and Miles are you know telling that this is not gonna happen because you're gonna walk away and I'm very inexperienced and you can basically kick my ass if you wanted to. Yeah, and then <laughs> Carol comes in and goes, "Then why are you here?" It's like we just. We're talking about that very thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. just. I finished rewatching all of Smallville, so now I'm reading the season eleven comics. So I'm actually quite glad that I, I haven't got so many Superman titles to read at the moment because, <laughs> like, it, yeah, it's it's so much fun to catch up on these things. They're a lot better than I uh, gave them credit for. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I started reading them, but I kind of gave up at one point. But no, I already, I, I'm like, loving it. I usually wait to December, or because I already did kind of. Um, watch Smallville, so it's like I don't know if I just watch this December again, or I don't know. I like watching just all of that. My favorite season is probably like I don't know. Four is like really good to me because he plays football in that one. So yeah, that was that was pretty fun. I mean, the only thing I didn't like about that, I didn't like the whole uh, Teague family storyline, like the whole right. Lana becoming and getting possessed by a witch and all of that shit. I thought was stupid, but there, there's some there's some great stuff like yeah. throughout every season. I was surprised at the quality of it. So with that though. I think we might as well just end it here. Yeah. Next time, yes. Yeah. To next time. What? What? No. Uh, no shilling. <laughs> we don't have any show this week, and we're still recording, so we don't have any show this week because Armin is lost. Like he's actually in. Like he's lost. So. Well, well, well technically, has like eleven hours for he. Before he, he gets lost. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I like to say he's gonna get lost. So quick, spam his Twitter. Exactly. Because yeah. <laughs> we're still recording. Oh, we need someone to write another one of those uh, death. Like, what's it called? Obituary about yeah, oh, that's so funny. Like, now he's <laughs> nah, been for a few weeks. This is when that article should have come out. Yeah. All right. Like I said, until next time. <laughs>